Hi guys, a video reply to a comment on one of my older videos about friction or flywheel motors. There's always a debate as to whether we should call them friction motors or flywheel motors. Um, but let's cover off why first of all. They need friction to spin the wheels to speed up the flywheel so you're actually storing energy in the flywheel by the wheels gripping the floor so they need friction there so that's possibly why they're called a friction motor the flywheel itself um, stores the power or the energy and the fact that it's spinning It's also sort of the main component within the motor, so yes, you could call it a flywheel motor. Um, or you could call it gears, because there's gears in there as well. I don't know. But yeah, always a debate. Is it a friction motor or a flywheel motor? The comment wasn't about that at all. The comment was this guy's um, toy car would go backwards but not forwards. Now, I can think of lots of possible reasons for that, most of them involving teeth missing in the gears. If we look at this bigger, bigger one first, um, there's no teeth missing in the gears here, but if I hold that still, I can actually turn the wheels with nothing else moving, and that's because the gear on the back axle is actually sliding on the axle. I'll take these screws out in a minute and we'll have a closer look. So it could be that simple, it could just be that the gear is slipping. It could be any teeth on any of the gears broken. Or it could be, and this is what I think it might be in his case, on the flywheel shaft there is a spring-loaded clutch. Um, the one on there is different to the one on here. Oh, that's gone sunny now. Let me darken it down a bit. Right, the sun wasn't out when I started. Now, on this one, if I get a pointy stick, just here you might be able to see there's a like an inside out gear there's a gear there with teeth on the inside and then there there's little arms with a tooth on the end of them that dig in so that's a clutch if we force this if we hold the wheel still and force it to turn There, you can see those teeth are slipping over. It's a protective clutch. Hold it still. Turn it. There we go. So it's protecting the teeth on the gears. Can you hear that? It's coming close. Can we focus that close? Just about turn it so they're slipping in that direction if I do it the other way they won't slip so eventually those gears are either gonna break their teeth or pop out of position I don't know if you could see but the whole thing was dis distorting yeah see those teeth are now Oh, they're out of focus. There we go. If I force it the wrong way, that gear there is coming out of position. And eventually... Yeah. Yeah, so it's slipping. So that clutch is to prevent that happening. 
but it only works in one direction. Oh, that sunlight's come out again. Okay, this one, which is out of focus now, is slightly different. So we'll take those screws out and have a look at it. It's the same idea, but it's achieving it in a different way. So this one's actually spring loaded. So the spring is gripping onto the flywheel. Take that out. So we can actually turn that gear without the flywheel turning. But the pressure of that spring pushing against there means that normally you can't do that. Normally when that spins, that gear spins with it but because I'm holding it still it's allowing it to slip so that spring there is pushing that washer onto that gear holding it in place normally everything spins but if something stops that gear spinning then the flywheel can carry on and slip so it's protection as I say, this particular one, that gear I've got my finger on now is not gripping the axle because I can turn the wheel and that gear isn't turning. It should be turning like that. That's not a protective thing, that's just that that gear has come loose. So this car, if I wanted this car to work, I'd have to do something to stop that slipping. put that on backwards I don't know lots of hair in there right so we can see that turning and normally that turning if we do it the other way that turns the back wheels But if something stopped the gears turning, then the flywheel can still turn because that spring is actually allowing that gear to slide. Well, I hope that helped. That video took longer to talk through than I intended it to, and I wanted to cover the two different types of clutch. So that one's a spring, and that one's flexible teeth. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.